Hello everybody, this is Tanner Smith. This is a follow-up video to my video on how to create a Mac League and how to create a Mac team and then how to link the two. So once you've done that, in order to create keepers, you have to go to your team and I will go to Tanner2 as an example and then you go to player properties. Once you have gone to player properties, I'm going to use Mike Trout as an example. You have to set a salary for the player, so I'll use $50. You have to set a position for the players, and they have to be at the correct position. I couldn't just put Mike Trout at catcher. I need to have him as an outfielder. And then you have to select this box to make them a keeper. After you do that, you have to select save changes. This is very important because if you don't do this, it won't save any of this, and you'll go into the Cuffs of Draft Guide and you'll be confused on why there isn't a keeper. So you save changes. After we've done that, you go to Stats and Tools again. Go to Custom Draft Guide. Now we're at the Custom Draft Guide. I'll go to Start here. After that, um, I'm at Smith 4, so that was the correct league. You have to have this box selected for Use Keepers, and then all my settings are the same. If you want to see how I set all this up, you can go to my first video, How to use the custom draft guide. So now that we've all done that, go to generate values. And you should see on the right here, kept, there will be a Y. And that keeper will adjust the dollar values for every other player. So that is very important to remember. So thank you for listening. Now you know how to create keepers within the custom draft guide.